Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about async streams in C Sharp 8. So let's get started. To illustrate, basically, I have created an example here uh, where I would be using a web API. And uh, the web API, once it gets a request for some values, all it is going to do is call uh, a method called get posts and uh, whatever data it comes it prints it on the console and also writes it uh, back as the result of the http uh, initially what i all i'm doing is getting an http client and it calls get http client and here i'm accessing a web api uh, with this uh, url and we can take a quick look it's basically a url you can call to uh, get some information and uh, the way I'm going to use is, is to get some posts and actually not all of the posts I'm going to get uh, posts by ID so here's the value so you can get posts by ID this is so I can illustrate to you asynchronous streams so essentially once we have an HTTP client all we are going to do is uh, sit in a loop and call from 1 through 10 this web API uh, that endpoint we have and we're going to give it a different ID so we get a different post every time so once we get that content we are going to read that content as a JSON string and keep appending to this JSON string and at the very end we'll return the JSON string and I to simulate the benefits of asynchronous streams I've also added a delay of 200 milliseconds when we call this API uh, this uh, API to get the post. So let's just uh, get this started and see uh, how this behaves. Uh, I'm going to wait uh, a few seconds to make sure that the controller is up and uh, here is my get where I can send this get to and I'm doing that right now and uh, after some delay you would see that the result shows up uh, both in this uh, output console and this at the same time. So this is pretty much uh, what the starter code is. So let's say for some reason you want to be able to show on your terminal this output right away and you uh, maybe want to do some processing with it as you get the post instead of waiting for all these things to come back. So what you can do is uh, you can change this uh, task uh, string to i async enumerable which is new in c sharp 8 asynchronous streams and as soon as you do that you would notice that it is complaining that uh, this json string it cannot be uh, it has to be a yield so you can see here it says it has to do a yield uh, so i'm going to do a yield furthermore the change i'm going to make is uh, as soon as i get my string i want to be able to return it instead of uh, waiting uh, to return those strings all the time so I'm just going to add another yield statement here and basically the way uh, this would work is it'll uh, essentially pause uh, at this point and return one result and when you call it when you enumerate it the second time it will again go through pause and return this result so the benefit of all this is you're going to get the results very quickly wherever you are calling this i enumerable for get post so that's all the change you need to make in this method for example and uh, you will see this benefit pretty quickly and let's say uh, here i have to change this to take advantage of this so i'm going to uh, create a string called data and initialize it to basically empty and uh, i'm going to await uh, for each which is kind of new for C sharp 8 and I'm going to call my get post at this point So what you would notice is that it is awaiting for every item that comes through here and uh, I want to be able to print to my console as soon as I get that data instead of waiting for all results of all of the data so I'm going to do this and then uh, since we want to in the end return all of it I'm just going to concatenate it here and let me just clean up this a little bit so we did an await and then it says the await method must be in async so we have to change this to async and essentially to make this async I need to make it a task result and which I've done so now uh, this method uh, should compile 
and I'm going to stop this and I have to recompile it again. Other thing you note, uh, should note is that I'm um, using Visual Studio Code. So you want to make sure your target framework is netcore uh, .NET 3.0 and the language version is 8.0. So now if I didn't make any typing mistakes and stuff, it should uh, uh, compile and run. So let me just do that. And so now uh, just watch the console. I'm going to make it a little bit uh, here different. So you should be able to see on the console the results of calling this API one at a time very quickly, one by one, instead of getting everything in just one shot. So let's take a quick look. See here you can see the results are coming and then in the end we get all of this. So this is actually a very exciting new API for asynchronous streams. Uh, that we have in C sharp 8 and I am going to add this uh, video under uh, my website under C sharp uh, C sharp asynchronous streams and you have a great day